Hi, I'm Tony Fall. Uh, this is part three of the series of videos on the uh, bandsaw that I made. Uh, now, uh, this video concerns itself with what I call the upper sub-assembly. Uh, this is again a welded tubular structure uh, which I build up before fitting it onto the main frame of the bandsaw uh, such that all the distortion from welding can take place um, prior to that uh, final welding so then I just have to line it up carefully and uh, try to have the minimum of distortion when it's welded to the main frame. Uh, the purpose of this um, upper frame is basically to hold the uh, top wheel in place uh, but it's a little bit more complicated than that because the um, wheel has to move both vertically to tension the belt uh, but it also has to be able to tilt fore and aft a little bit in order to be able to adjust the tracking. Uh, in addition to mounting the wheel, it's also there to uh, mount the top blade guides or the support for the top blade guides which must be made uh, uh, adjustable um, in a vertical direction to accommodate different uh, heights of workpiece. Okay, so let's see how that's done. This is the welded up top frame which has been designed to take these two uh, channel pieces which guide the wheel mounting assembly. Okay, well now we're looking at the uh, top uh, sub-assembly which is to hold the top uh, wheel. Uh, just to get in perspective, the, uh, the, the wheel will sit uh, something like this in relation to that uh, subframe and it will be able to be pulled up and down for adjusting the blade tension and also tilted backwards and forwards to a small degree uh, to uh, be able to do the blade tracking. If this is the uh, main column, imagine it's the main column of the bandsaw, then that will be vertical and this subframe will be welded onto it in this fashion. Now before going into more detail on this, let's have a look at uh, what it actually holds up. Now, I needed something to uh, hold the axle for the wheel, which will go something like this, so the wheel can spin on that, uh, that I could um, uh, lift the axle up and down and also tilted in this fashion for the tracking. Uh, after a lot of searching my scrap box, I came across this piece of bent metal. As soon as I saw it, I realized that it was just what I had been looking for to base the, uh, the, the whole uh, system on. Uh, so I welded on uh, a bar here, which will run in some tracks to guide it. Uh, drilled a hole here, which the axle will go through and hence the wheel will fit on like so. So by moving this bracket up and down and tilting it I can control the wheel position and angle. So then I had to make something to be able to mount and tension this piece and that's what this was for. Now here I've made two channel pieces uh, actually I did it by uh, putting two pieces of angle iron together I mean you can probably see that in this cut off piece there's one piece of angle iron here another there they were welded along the, the joint and at the ends. Now those two pieces of channel are for this piece of rod to run in. So this piece will move up and down in here and it gives me a total um, wheel up and down movement for tensioning the blade or for accommodating slightly different length of blades of 110 millimeters, uh, a little bit over four inches. Um, okay this is left a little bit cut out here uh, because it, it then enables me to assemble 
this, which will fit in like so. So now we can see that, that piece will slide up and down in here. Remember that this will actually be mounted vertically, so it, it's sliding up and down. That, that is pulled up and down by this trunnion there here. And this threaded rod. So that goes in here. So if the threaded rod is moved up and down, the rod goes through this guide here. We'll have a handle at the top. So I'll be able to screw this piece up and down. To adjust the angle of this here, I'll have this threaded rod coming through this boss which is drilled and tapped for it. So this piece will then rest on here and its angle will be set by moving that in and out. So to assemble it I put it in here. I'll have the uh, a vertical adjustment put through this guide, this piece is, is just a guide so it's tack welded in place uh, to uh, uh, avoid excessive distortion. Uh, the next stage, now that the top frame had been made, uh, was to attach it to the main frame of the bandsaw. Uh, now this needed the guide channels to be in good alignment with the uh, bottom wheel assembly, so this was done by clamping two vertical uprights to the lower wheel and then very carefully setting the guides parallel in two directions to the uprights and then welded in place alternative uh, welding from alternative sides uh, in order to uh, reduce the amount of uh, distortion. The final operation to ensure good alignment of the wheels was when I welded in the axle. Uh, to ensure this alignment, the tracking adjustment was set in the mid position and then the two wheels were clamped together via two um, vertical uprights and then the axle was welded in place. As this was a single weld, uh, there was a minimum of uh, welding distortion and the wheels came out in perfect alignment. The final uh, piece of this uh, upper subframe was to weld in the guide tube for the guide support rod. Uh, the support tube was um, uh, fabricated from two pieces of uh, angle iron welded together. A couple of nuts were welded on to take the clamping bolts. Uh, now the clamping bolts on their own would uh, over time mark the guide support tube and so I use a piece of uh, three millimeter thick plate which you can see on the right um, as uh, uh, well the equivalent of a gib strip uh, on, on a lathe I guess. Here we have a test assembly of the whole guide system. At the bottom there's the aluminium block which contains the uh, roll of bearings for the blade uh, guiding. Uh, that's clamped into a block which is welded onto the guide support tube which itself is inserted into uh, the guide tube and uh, clamp system. The guide support tube will be welded onto the upper subframe uh, such that it maintains the guide in accurate alignment to the uh, bandsaw blade. Here is the complete um, frame for the bandsaw. We can see the upper and lower subframes. On the left hand side a blade cover has been added for safety sake which will cover to prevent accidental uh, contact with the workpiece or with the operator. On the rear side we can see the blade tracking control and blade tension control as well as the uh, blade support guide support.
Uh, then all that needed to be done was to fit the bandsaw blade and adjust the guide rollers to suit. Uh, how to adjust the guide rollers and set up the uh, blade will be shown in another video. That's all for now. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to uh, my uh, channel on YouTube, Moto Chassis, and you can see a full description of this bandsaw build at the uh, Homemade Tools forum on uh, homemadetools.net.